everyone hi Onyuka here and today we'll be talking about the Giorgio Armani face fabric foundation I'm not sure when this came out but it's pretty recent I think it's their actually it's their latest foundation that they've had out thus far oh my gosh I have a lot of emotions about this foundation even before trying it out because when I was looking at it online you know what let's just go through the facts first of all let's just go through the facts really quick for 49 dollars, you get 1.35 floor ounces which is 40 milliliters is it 40 milliliters yep 40 milliliters i'm still learning about foundation but to my knowledge companies usually provide 30 milliliters for foundation so to give 40 that's cool you get an extra 10 with this one as you know fenty provides 32 milliliters it's also supposed to provide a sheer coverage and it's supposed to be good for combination skin normal skin and oily skin as well i have oily skin so this should i'm not like crazy oily but i do have like oily skin right I like full coverage I like sheer coverage I like whatever I don't require full coverage if you know what I mean so sheer foundation is cool but my problem with this is that when I looked it up on Sephora I realized that it only they're only providing 12 shades 12 shades oh my gosh there's only two shades for dark skinned people and then all the other shades are for like a, if you're like a medium brown and then it's pretty much just white 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 people so i'm confused but i went to sephora and got shade matched this i will not lie is actually it's my color it's working okay you have oily skin i do she doesn't get crazy oily but she gets oily mm -hmm. <laughs> it's working really it's working yeah it's okay i'm shocked and appalled that i'm the darkest shade wow <laughs> learned that my shade is the darkest shade <laughs> my shade is the darkest shade which baffles me i don't even know how a company can cut and i love armani i've never tried their beauty products before but clothing wise you're not more of a fashion girl so clothing wise i love armani so to me this is a bad first impression to their beauty department for me i've never seen any of their beauty stuff before so this is my first time ever even paying attention to their beauty products and then for it to be that the product that i actually notice is a pro is a foundation that only offers 12 shades that's crazy to me it just baffles me because companies try to act like we don't exist by not creating shades for dark skinned people or enough variety for dark skinned people well, I don't even understand, but I can go on a rant about that, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to try the foundation and see if it's worth the $49. I'm going to give an unbiased opinion, regardless of the fact that I hate the fact that they only provide 12 shades. That's stupid to me. So it comes in this 2B situation. Oh, snap. Let me prime. I'm priming with the Fenty Beauty Primer because that is what I usually use. And in order for me to test this out and see if it works properly, I'm going to keep all the other things that I usually do the same. And the only thing that's going to be different is the foundation in order to properly test it out okay so my face is primed with fenty beauty primer and my eyelids are primed with urban decay primer potion and my brows are done honey so i'm going to apply this with the fenty beauty foundation brush because this is what i usually use on my face for any foundation so why switch it up i will not with it being in a tube i don't know how much i need i prefer a pump <laughs> I prefer a pump because with the pump you could be like, all right, I need one pump, two pump, three pump. But with this, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how much. Let's let's do finger, and then I'll use the brush to like blend in, cause I don't know. Oh, okay. It feels thick. It's definitely thick in consistency. I don't know how much I'm gonna need. I feel like I'm gonna need more than this, but I'm going to work with this and then add on later on because i don't want to put too much in and i'm wasting it you know it's 49 dollars. we don't we don't waste 49 dollars, honey we savor it okay wow it's really really sheer i'm gonna need more like i love a no makeup look don't get me wrong but you see that like it's really it's really um they were not kidding when they said it's share 
shout out to Imani at Sephora shade matching me properly I love it when people can actually do their job right Chrissy and NARS did her job right Imani and Sephora did her job right I literally feel like I have nothing on my face I feel like I have nothing on my face at all adding a bit more on it feels super soft and cozy I don't know why it reminds me of like a baby I don't know why I think of like babies right now but it feels like super like soft okay this is the second layer i don't feel like it dries as fast as fenty beauty she doing something she doing something feels as soft as putting on lotion and i'm a shea butter girl i'm not a lotion kind of girl but it feels as soft as putting on lotion hmm. This is she. This is how she came out. I don't know if she's dry yet. It's not dry yet and it is transferring. So I'm going to give it 10 minutes to dry. Fenty's usually dry by now. So I, the fact that I have to wait is like annoying, but whatever. So now we're all dried up. It took a while to dry and I didn't like that. I'm used to instant boom, boom, boom. I have a pretty fast paced life. So I don't have time to do, 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 do. Dude, like I don't have time for nothing to take a while to dry because you know how Fenty Beauty makes you feel and look like you have nothing on this one feels even more sheer and non-existent than Fenty I'm so used to having more on my face that I feel weird not having more it's like what's going on here I am highlighting with NARS I need to put on eyeshadow I forgot all about eyeshadow oh my gosh okay put on eyeshadow real quick let me you know what I'm not gonna do the most I'm just gonna do a little boop 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 and I'll be done no time for eyeshadow so I'm just gonna put the Too Faced bronzer I used to use this a lot 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 back in the day but I'm gonna just put this on my lids it's the color of my skin so it's perfection and then I'm going into the Basquiat the Urban Decay Basquiat palette touching into this blue right over here as my liner ah I love it. It always comes out looking like a really, really, really dark blue. Back to putting on concealer. Setting my concealer with Laura Mercier translucent powder. Wish my whole bun can fit in this frame. Literally took me way too long to fix this camera to be in frame. And then I was like, you know, forget it, forget it. Sacrifice the bun, sacrifice the bun. Face is done. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on the lashes. Ooh, my next video is gonna be me putting on full lashes for the first time. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. In the description, it did not say that this foundation is meant to be long lasting. Therefore, I'm not gonna wear it for a super long time like I do my other foundation reviews. But I am going to wear it for a few hours, you know, just to all of it, you know, just to see how it's, you know, rugged, rugged. Probably max like six hours, maybe, but I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and see how it wears, see how I feel about it, see if I love it. So, my lips is ColourPop Love. Is this love? Oh, Bedazzled. Sorry, they don't sell this shade anymore. Um, I restocked before they discontinued the shade, but there's a similar color to this at ColourPop. I'm gonna link it below. Love, this is my favorite purple shade ever for the lips, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna wear this out. I'm rambling, I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited to be filming again. I haven't filmed in so long. I'm back to it. I have a lot of videos that I wanna do and I'm so excited, but shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm gonna wear this out for a while. It's late, but I'll let you know how this wears. <laughs> How do you do the dance? How do you do it? Whip it. Whip it. It's been two hours. Let me take off my shade so you can really see. It's actually holding out pretty good, but it's only been two hours, you know? Two hours, of course, it's gonna hold out like butter baby but but it's been two hours and i have no complaints whatsoever thus far i'm gonna check back with you in a few hours no it's actually holding out pretty well i'm really shocked and surprised oh. it's been five and a half hours i'm who would have thought it would hold out this well who would have thought who would have thought Yes, I'm in the bathroom. Oh. 
Mm. Okay, so it's been six hours now. It was, I put this on at 5.30 p.m. And now it's 11.30 p.m. So although this foundation held out pretty well, it was stayed true to its matte, matteness that it promised. <sighs> Can't really recommend this foundation. It's because it only comes with 12 shades. <laughs> I'm so stuck. I'm not a hater. Like, I will still state the rightness of a product regardless of how I already feel about it. So, what's great is that it stays matte, it stays on, it's transfer proof, it's not all over my fingers. What I don't like is that it takes forever to dry. Well, not forever, but it takes, if you're used to Fenty Beauty, it takes longer than Fenty Beauty to dry. So, Fenty may have spoiled you like it spoiled me. So, shadow of the raindrops are like on my face, but I can't get over the fact that there's only 12 shades in this foundation range. Like, that's crazy to me. Armani, you have to do better. You have to do better. This makes no sense. I cannot be your darkest shade. I cannot. Do better, Armani. Do better. You know what's annoying me? I just realized something. So, this foundation turned out pretty good, right? But a lot of people won't be able to experience this foundation because they don't make it in their shade. If I'm your darkest shade, all the girls darker than me won't be able to experience this. You know, when companies do this, when companies do this, it makes no sense to me because it just goes to show me you're not really about your money. Because if you were about your money, you'd make something for everybody because that'll make you more money. Gosh. You guys are really all about your money. Why wouldn't you make something for everyone so you can make more money why would you just create 12 shades i really want to know that like why just 12 like why why i really want to know that doesn't even make sense to me because if you're really about your bread you make something for everybody you would make at least triple that it's a good foundation i'm not a hater so i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's good because it's good the thing is people won't be able to experience it a lot of people won't be able to experience it because you do not make their shade because they're darker than me and to have two shades for dark skinned that means those people who are like in between those two dark skin shades won't be able to experience it neither because how you just make two sh how you just how on earth do you make two shades for dark skinned people that doesn't even make sense Oh God. I have to do better. It's just, there's no excuse. Like, what's your excuse? You don't see black people. You see us. You see us, okay? Thank you so very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I love you. God loves you. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe. And also check out my other videos right over here. Thank you so very much. Bye. Bye.